Good morning, saints. The scripture reading that I have chosen to reflect on today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. So this is actually one of my favorite scripture readings. And anytime I feel doubtful, hopeless, or filled with fear, I meditate and reflect on these words. And I encourage each and every one of you to do the same. When we look at the world, we see a pandemic that appears to have no end. We see natural disasters, we see conflicts and war. And this can make you feel hopeless and overwhelmed. But when you look at Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it reminds us that if we truly believe that our God is great as he is, and we submit all our fears, all our problems, all our concerns to him, and we acknowledge him in everything that we do, he will, not me, but the word says he will direct our path. So let's dissect the scripture again. What does it mean to trust in the Lord with all thine heart? Well, when you have your situations, when you have your trials, surrender to him, totally give it over to him. You know, we like to tell God, God, your will be done. You take control. But in the same breath, we holding on to it and we still working behind the scenes trying to solve it ourselves. That never ever ends well. So truly give it over to him and feel that sense of peace knowing that our God who can do anything and everything is going to work it out for us. And the scripture goes on to say, lean not unto your own understanding. Don't try to figure it out yourself. It may not make sense to us. And we trying to work it out and do the math in our brain, just adding unnecessary, unnecessary stress on our part. So when we totally give it over to God and we lean not unto our own understanding, but in all things, we give him the honor, we give him the glory, we give him the praise. He will direct our path. So take comfort in these words. Know that God is working it out. And I wish all our students, teachers, and educators a wonderful start to the new academic year. God's blessings upon you.